My name is Grant Tinsley, professor in the Department of Kinesiology and Sport Management at Texas Tech University. Here in our department, I teach mostly one undergraduate course, which is a sports nutrition course. And then at the graduate level, I teach courses in um, sports nutrition and then skeletal muscle physiology. And I also supervise students in the lab. So I have undergraduate, masters, and PhD students who work in my lab as part of my research team. So my lab group has several interests. One is assessing how accurate different body composition assessment technologies are. So there are many different devices that can assess body composition, but we have an interest in looking at how reliable these are and how accurate they are if we're actually wanting to track someone's body composition as it changes over time. We also study some specific dietary programs. So one example is intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is just a broad term that refers to uh, dietary strategies involving fasting periods longer than your normal overnight fast. So these are very popular and we've conducted several studies implementing these programs, specifically in exercising individuals and seeing whether or not they compromise the normal adaptations we see to exercise. We also study a variety of sports nutrition products. So we've conducted trials looking at things like protein powders, pre-workout supplements, and energy drinks to see if they improve exercise performance in the short term as well as whether they can improve your adaptations to exercise over the longer term. So one project we're working on that I think is very interesting is looking at how well some of our technology here in the lab in terms of body composition assessment tracks changes in the human body over time. And those changes could be occurring due to normal growth and development, due to a disease state, or beneficial adaptations, say to a nutrition and exercise program. So for one analysis we're working on, we essentially brought in a lot of participants um, tested them with all the different devices in our lab. Then we put them on a supervised exercise training and nutrition program. And they went through this program for several weeks and then they returned to our lab and we completed all of these assessments again. So with these assessments, we can build our gold standard model, which is called the four compartment model. And that's what we determined to be these individuals' real change in body composition as a result of our program. And this will essentially allow us to determine whether or not these common methods that people may have access to are actually accurate for assessing the way their body changes in response to a nutrition and exercise program. So we compared all these different methods to our gold standard four compartment model and essentially determined that some of them are relatively accurate and others have uh, so much error involved that the information you get from them is not very useful. There, there are a variety of things we can do to help improve the error in some of these devices. Uh, so for example, one of the 3D scanners that's located in our lab uh, now has a new updated body fat algorithm that was developed here in our laboratory at Texas Tech. Um, so we had a research contract with this company and we performed our gold standard analysis along with 3D scans from their device. And then some data scientists were able to use the 3D scan data we collected and the gold standard body fat data we collected and build a more accurate body fat algorithm. My name is Grant Tinsley, and in the College of Arts and Sciences, innovation never stops. Thank you.